Imagine this, you dig a hole straight through the earth from one side to the other. Now you stand at the edge, take a deep breath and jump. What happens next? At first, you'd start falling fast, pulled by Earth's gravity. Within seconds, you'd be moving at thousands of kilometers per hour. But it wouldn't last long. As you fall deeper, you'd feel the air pressure increase and the temperature rise. Soon, it's hotter than any place on Earth, thousands of degrees near the core. If the hole were open like this in real life, the heat would vaporize you instantly. But let's imagine, for science, that the tunnel is magically protected with no air resistance or heat. Now the real fun begins. You'd keep accelerating until you reached the center of the Earth. There, gravity from all sides would pull you equally, meaning for a brief moment you'd be weightless, floating in perfect balance. But since you're still moving, you'd continue past the center and start slowing down, climbing toward the other side of the planet. Eventually, gravity would pull you back again, and you'd start falling once more. So instead of falling forever, you'd swing back and forth, just like a pendulum. Over time, friction and air resistance would slow you down, until finally you'd stop right in the middle of the Earth's core. That's right, you wouldn't pop out the other side. You'd end up stuck floating in the planet S center, in the place where up and down Don T even exist. So while it's an amazing idea, falling through Earth isn't a journey anyone could survive. But it does show how powerful gravity really is. It is one of those what-if questions that remind us how strange and beautiful our planet truly is.